Hey Rollers, in my previous match I was able to catch my opponent in a last minute armbar. That left me feeling pretty good. Maybe even cocky. That is, until my next match. Where I was completely humiliated. And thus we have the chicken wing. <laughs> I was the clear underdog in this match back in 2017. I have no problem telling you that my opponent was more athletic and more skilled at jiu-jitsu. In our first three meetings, he had finished with three quick submissions, specifically three Dars chokes. My game plan was to hang in there and just hope that he left some kind of opening to attack. This takedown attempt was the most aggressive thing I did for the entire match. I went in for a body lock and then I dropped for a single leg. I turned the corner and I brought him down, but he had my head and arm locked up. I controlled his legs and I got to my knees, but then, like a bonehead, I brought my knee up, giving him the easy sweep. My opponent liked that so much that he had a quick Clark Gracie moment. After that, he went to work on a submission. He was waiting for me to extend my right arm so that he could slap on a Dars and end this match. Like I said, this was his go-to move, and he had finished me three times with it already. Well, not this time, pal. You know what they say, choke me once, shame on you. Choke me twice, shame on me. Choke me three times, okay, just stop it. Choke me four times, now that's just ridiculous. You can see how he was going for it pretty aggressively here, but I kept my underhook so that my right shoulder didn't get shoved across my face. You can also see uh, I'm trying to tie up his left leg with my legs. He eventually bailed on the darse and he knee cut through my guard. Watch as he tries to use knee on belly to get me to turn and extend, but I kept my elbow glued to my ribs. He spun for a Kimura, and then I turtled. Right away, he locked up his hands, and he jumped into a Peruvian necktie. The only thing that took the pressure off was my control over his right leg. He tried to kick it free and used the chaos to get back on top. I kept my grip on his right leg, considering trying to explode for a takedown, but I was completely out of breath and his control of my ankle complicated things. Oh, looks like it's time for another Clark Gracie moment. Okay, enough of that. I rolled and I tried to trap him in my guard, but then he did this. <laughs> what do you even say? He got back to side and then knee on belly, but nothing really interesting happened until I turtled again. It was at this point that he locked on another Peruvian necktie, and this time I kept pushing into it until I could roll through. Once I had my back to the mat, I felt less pressure. I never really thought about how closely this choke is related to the Dars, but my opponent was ready for the transition. He used his left arm to push my head down and tried to tighten the grip, but my underhook saved me again. Time was ticking down, and I was way down on points. The ref didn't even bother awarding the neon belly points here. I shoved his knee off again, and I went back to turtle. My opponent reached over and locked a Kimura grip, which he used to flip me over, despite my best efforts. At least I made him work for it, though. Once he had me on my back with my head trapped, he applied the Kimura and I was forced to tap. All respect to my opponent, his powerful control and constant submission attempts were impressive. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.